Okay, just tell me when. Hi, Chrissy family from uh, Topeka, Kansas, and St. Joseph Church. I'm Father Tim Hammerborn, and I'm pleased to announce to you uh, our restoration work here at St. Joseph Church. The Chrissy family has had a long history as part of our parish family, and as a native son of the parish, uh, my heart is where your heart is, and that's always at home. And so we have uh, begun about three years ago a restoration project of St. Joseph Church. So just as it has served in the past, uh, for many people, uh, our, our founding ancestors and so forth, that we can provide the same worship place and space uh, for future generations. I'd like to begin by telling you about the work that has already been accomplished, and that is in our process of Phase 1. And Phase 1 uh, encountered or encompassed the outside work of the church. As you look at the church, you can see the new doors that are on the front entranceway of the church. You also see that all of the brickwork has been, uh, the re has been done. The bricks that were broken, that needed to be replaced, were all replaced. New guttering throughout the entire church structure. Also, all the sandstone design that had decayed through the years has all been restored and reshaped and replaced, uh, as well as you may have noticed on the outside of the church, the beautiful uh, antique light stands uh, that provide outdoor lighting for the church, uh, all around the church, completely around the church, uh, and they are really uh, take the place of what used to be. So they're kind of restored uh, lamps. I'm going to take you now on the side of the church to show you uh, the new entranceway to the basement. The fancy word we see is hall now, St. Joseph Hall. But if you'll follow me, I'll show you that new entranceway that has been part of the restoration work. Okay. Uh, here, our state in Deutsch, uh, the uh, dieses Kirche is Sankt Joseph uh, Deutsches Gemeinde. In other words, uh, German uh, Catholic parish community. That is amazing. As promised, here is the new entranceway to the basement of the church. Uh, as you can see, we wanted to match it to the original foundation of the church, the limestone. Also, uh, it has new staircase down that's been expanded. All the staircases on the entrance of the church, as well as to the basement, uh, the basement entrances, all those have been replaced uh, and restored with beautiful steps, concrete steps, uh, to make it safer for everybody, but also to provide a more easily uh, accessible entrance into the church. Also, on this side of the church, I'm reminded, just to let you know, the close connection of the Christies to this very holy and special place, just down on the end of the block. Okay, go ahead. As you can see, uh, this is the entranceway of the church. We're on the interior, and um, the entire interior of the church is yet to be done. It's considered phase two in our process of restoration. We did begin uh, some work on the inside of the church. And as you can see, I'm standing right in front of Thank you, Lord. The new elevator that we have uh, that uh, brings people from the outside on the north entrance, there's an entranceway, 
to come in from the outside uh, and use the elevator. The elevator covers all the floors of the church from basement to this floor as well as up to the choir loft. And so even though we maintain one set of stairs, it's so much easier for people um, to use the elevator. And it was an elevator that was custom built uh, and made for our particular space. So it's a great addition and has been wonderful for folks who may have disabilities and are unable to use the staircase. And I gotta go turn on all the lights in church. Because I wanna make sure they see how bad things have gotten. And now I want to continue uh, a little walkthrough uh, restoration plans for the interior of the church. This is not a renovation project, but a restoration project to the restore the church back to its original um, beauty. And through the years, over 127, 128 years of being a parish, and over 100 years of being a church, there's been a lot of wear and tear through the years. As you can see, these are where the stations are and the damage from water through the years on the wall. And this is throughout the church. Um, the reason why we needed to get on the restoration project three years ago was the fear of losing a lot of our murals that are so beautiful here in the church. So these are stations. The stations of the cross statues are taken down because of the water damage um, at some of the, the statuary. And so these will all be restored they look like um, they're original in wood and they have gold trim just like the high altars but through time they were painted to look like marble. The marble look will be gone and they'll be restored to the original uh, wood and gold and they will all be lit up, each one individually so that you can see them more visibly. These pillars in church have been painted different colors throughout the years, but originally uh, they were uh, basically uh, showed the beauty of the wood. So they'll be restored back to the wood that they are and the paint will be taken off. Um, for murals in church, you'll see that we had a company come in and uncover layers of paint through the years and you can see some of the original design, which is lilies in honor of St. Joseph. And that will all be restored in the church, throughout the church. Um, you can also see uh, some of the murals and paintings that need, uh, through the years, they, the background on them was covered up by regular paint. They will be restored and also enlightened uh, so that um, they will show their original beauty uh, with the backgrounds and so forth, um, kind of like what they did in the Sistine Chapel in Rome to freshen up things and make uh, things a lot brighter. If I could show you the other outcomes. Here, in all of these alcoves were murals. All of these, there were eight murals total that were here in the main body of the church. They are being restored. They were lost through the years and through technology from photographs that were taken each one of them years ago, there's a company that is going to restore them on canvas so that they never can be lost again, that they won't be painted on the plaster, that they'll be there forever. You may have noticed that some of the statuary, like on the confessionals, the unique confessionals and so forth, we've already started some of the work on some of the statues uh, being restored by a company in Chicago. 
uh, the statue of St. Anthony that stood on this pillar over here. He's having a makeover right now. Uh, the statue, big statue of the Sacred Heart where the pillar is over there, he's gone uh, to be restored. If you look up at the Holy Family statue and you see uh, the, the Jesus in the center, you can see that his garments have turned white. That's not painted that way. That's from years of the sun taking out the color of the painting. And so many of the statues have fingers missing, um, items missing, uh, the paint. So all of them, all statues in church, including here on the high altar, if you notice the crucifix in the center, if you look to the side of St. John, who is in pink, you come further down near his feet, you can see that all the paint is stripped off through the years. It's just deteriorating. And even on Mary's garments, uh, you see spots up there. The closer you get, you see a lot of the paint missing. And so all the statues will be restored. The high altar will be restored. You can faintly see that it's detailed in gold. That gold was a beautiful shining gold at one time. Uh, that will all be restored uh, as shining gold amongst the wood, which will match the uh, stations of the cross. The old light bulb lighting that's up there will all be removed, not from the angels, that will remain, but every statue will have lighting of its own uh, I, uh, with a, a, a spotlighting that will be built into the altar so that every statue lights uh, will be uh, lightened up um, for uh, the years to come. Also, I want to show you uh, the, the windows. If you look at the base, of each of the windows through the years, there used to be the names, it would say gift from, and the family that it was in memory of. In Jarvan, it's written Geschenkfan, in other words, gift from, and the family. Those have all been gone through the years, faded, and so they will all be, uh, the windows will all be restored. And as you can see, we've already had two windows in church, that have gone to the factory to be redone so that the brightness of their colors and so that parishioners can see what the windows will look like when they're done. Uh, some of the windows have holes in them, broken um, through the years. The Sacred Heart of Jesus has a big hole in it. Uh, one of the windows further down here, right below the pelican, feeding um, babies. There's about Part of our second phase two is the restoration of the organ, pipe organ upstairs, which as a side note, the Krishis have a special connection to that because uh, Lucille Krishi played the organ here for many, many years, all through my childhood. Uh, and so, um, I think that uh, is a, a special memorial uh, would be nice uh, for Lucille Krishi, who played the organ. Also, I do want to point out that the carpeting and flooring in the church, if you look at the linoleum, you can see through the years the wear and tear, it's, it's bad shape. So instead of carpet, uh, when we looked at the original, the church was not carpeted. There, uh, it had uh, linoleum flooring, tile flooring. So we'll be going back to tile and in the sanctuary as well, forever to last, instead of carpet, replacing carpet and covering up uh, the beautiful floors uh, that lie underneath. Um, Wasn't it marble? It's going to be a marble, yeah. It will be a marble I think tile. It was black and white. Yeah, I remember. it was black and white. But we're going to go with a, a brighter white, not bright white, but kind of toned down white. 
and it will lighten up and accentuate the wood as well, better than the carpet, because the carpet's so bad. And how many years have we had that have replaced carpet and so forth? I remember it used to have a beautiful gate. Well, remember, yeah, the gate, and remember, oh, that's not the two. Let me point that out. I said, well, I gotta make a video. <laughs> many, many may remember the days past of communion rails in church, and St. Joseph's has always maintained uh, its communion rail. All of this grape and bread design, grape leaf design, was painted at one time. Originally, the grapes were all purple and the leaves were green and so forth. But it was painted over through the years with the gold paint. That too will all be restored back to its original, um, which is another uh, addition. This altar uh, will be replaced as well as the podium. Those came in in the 70s, 1970s. And so we're going back to a pulpit and a new altar that will match the high altar uh, with the wood, same wood and so forth, um, and have that beautiful symbol of St. Joseph on it and so forth. Um, so that too is going to be restored and replaced. Good.